my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by adventure story channel today my dear friends we will speak about in that case that i have uploaded already pictures in the channel's main page the community page which uh, as you remember we had a problem with uh, sealing of uh, valve spindle and we will discuss a little bit how to determine how to see and what things it's important to do first of all you can see some images here you can see a lot of deposits on the valve here and here but the surface the ceiling surface it's okay so the engine is working uh, maybe there is a little smoke outside a uh, a smoke of uh, blue color that uh, show us that you have oil inside the engine is burning. Uh, this case happened due to a bad overhauling which previously was made by different crew and we was lucky to observe this failure. This is how it looked like the valve seat, it is sticky and what problem can occur, your valve can stick inside and remain in closed position for next uh, working hours, there will be a problem for sure. As you can see there is a lot of deposits due to unburned oil which coming from here it builds slowly and slowly, carbonized and also uh, the faces here, the sitting face of valve seats uh, coming overheat due to the time of running with this, such these conditions. So as you can see here, there is a clear image more. And also if you will not change valve spindle and you say you will save some money I will tell you that this spare parts is really really cheap for such overhauling of a diesel generator So it's better to spend these consumables uh, valve spindle, valve seats to replace them and the valves itself uh, because this is some parts which uh, always under big pressure, big temperatures and big stress, mechanical stress, it would better to replace these components. And also what happens if you have uh, your uh, spin valve spindle here, I will show you exactly what is going on. Okay, we have our pen here and we can draw. Let's say this is your valve spindle. Okay, let's say it's something like that. And it's something like that. Okay, this component is inside the cylinder head. Okay, so we'll take a different color. We have a o ring here. So what's going on? If you will leave the spindle, which have uh, much larger clearances that normally must have, this valve here, the spindle of the valve, placed inside, and you have uh, unusual wear here on the metal surfaces. So if this happened, also this uh, wear will be not equal in not all surfaces because your valve plays inside here and bounce from one side to another okay you can see a wear here and also your o-ring will be damaged with result the oil, the lubricant oil, which is located here and lubricates other parts on the top of cylinder head, 
will enter through this ring which is already damaged and through this spindle valve will slowly slowly go here and for sure if your engine is stop and the oil will be going down by gravity and passing inside to the chamber to the combustion chamber so how we determine that problem we was making air blow and always we have this in our procedures to make an air blow before start the engine through the indicator uh, if I have here somewhere I will show you these pictures through the indicators we receive a letter okay I will show you later exactly what is going on so let's go back one moment okay here you can see here also deposits and this is the number number six and number two was found very bad condition okay this is the all other valves you can see also they are damaged by the oil and uneven where here you can see this is the working this is the working length of the spindle it works from here about to here this is how how much is the movement of the valve it's clear and you can determine it very very easy so this is the unequal wear you can see here there is some metal missing here here we have a metal part missing and here we have an even wear as you can see the coloring here it's different so let's move on later other valves with the same condition let's check together okay here we have our cylinder head ready was clear and what also we found was really really impressive we found one one valve one inlet valve in the place of exhaust valve also my dear friends i like to tell you one more thing that when you apply numbers let's say you are numbering your seat valves or the valves you say let's say you said number two number one number three as you can see here this is the mark of number three sometimes this number it's not visible a lot and what i have observed here we have our valves a lot of people there is already three but they put different numbers let's say four this is also it's very very bad practice and also it's better to carefully make this apply also of numbers anyway a small share with you what i have determined very very big role plays here also in this surface here as you can see this is the width of this uh, seat of the cylinder head which is around here and what important is that here goes a metal gasket as uh, always we have a metal gasket here very big role plays uh, how you lap the seat and 
for best lapping use about 300 to 500 lapping paste number you will have a better cleaning effect sometimes you can see scratches here if the scratch goes like this way you will not have a sealing problem but if the scratch passing this way for sure you will have a loose of exhaust gases which will pass here and then will be delivered to this hole and from behind of cylinder head you will be able to determine that you are losing exhaust gases this hole here goes to indicator valve so this space all this space it's called the top of the combustion chamber we have also our inlet valves which is placed here and the exhaust valves going here the main difference is with the uh, exhaust valves and the inlet valves uh, sometimes it will be the angle of the valve seat and the valves itself from here this is where the nozzle of injector coming out and our fuel is sprayed from the holes inside the combustion chamber we have a even pattern of spray so that one helps a better distribution of fuel and better mixture with the air so as we have seen some details let's tell also about the problems that can occur here due to the time of working of cylinder head uh, through the years and through the time uh, you can see some cracks or you can determine metal to be missing the most easy way to happen that is here you can determine cracks here or here like this and this is the place where our cylinder head is most easy to break down so in the next time where you when you are making overhauling please make checks here on these places and maybe you will be determined something uh, more more items so <coughs> let's ch check other images let's see this one image okay after lapping the surface of and if your valves is uh, able for lapping you will use them again if not you will replace but in our case here as you can see we have a, a excessive wear in the spindle of the valve we will replace the valve new valve guides and new valve seats here we have located our cylinder head on the testing device and water pressure device where we see if there is water coming from this port here and from cooling ports of the exhaust valves there is no water here in the inlet valves because they are cooled by the, by the air which coming inside the cylinder head so we are going to 10 bars pressure 10 bars pressure it's enough to test our cylinder head 10 bar or 1 megapascal So, this is our cylinder head, test it, and also we test if our air, 
our device for turning rotocaps is working what we do we put some marks here we put marks here and here and we hit them by bronze uh, from the top and a hammer and we see if our valves are turning also rotocaps must be changed for me the best uh, hours for change the rotocaps is 16,000 hours really replace all the rotocaps so what you will get you will get a better turning of your valves your valves will be turning better and you will have equal you will have equal wear from all your valve spindle so let's continue later and also here we check uh, our stats we put some loctite paste and we tie them at appropriate uh, torque which we determine from the tightening label which is located in the manual of manufacturer sometimes I have determined that a lot of engineers use a allen a socket to remove them or tie them back but as I saw the hexagon slowly slowly damaged as you can see here the socket became round and after it's difficult to remove the best way to remove this kind of nuts uh, studs it's to put hexagon nuts excuse me hexagon nuts so one from the one side and one from the other you lock them together as you understand two nuts we lock them together and after we release this that this is the best way to keep our islands in good condition so how we test the valve spindle the valve spindle have limits which for each engine it's individual when let's see here okay when your valve spindle uh, valve guide is new okay let's draw it here we have our valve guide this is a tool, a very fine tool, which I leave on board. I didn't take it with me. So, I check the limits from the book. So, I make a surface of this gauge from here to here, which determine the new uh, size of valve. Here, it becomes bigger let's say it's bigger like this here okay when i take this piece the valve guide this is our valve guide okay valve guide so when i take my valve guide for testing if it's in good condition my valve guide must stay here in this region if my valve guide passing here inside that means it's already have passed the limits and this is the only way to test your valve guides so if you have a major overhauling it's better to replace your valve guides they cost nothing they're really really cheap and it's better to check and here you can see 
this is the valve guide which is inserted inside and how we test our valve guides is also very very important as you can see here this is the top which is located on the top of the of the cylinder head and this is inside this place here goes down and here we have the most of the wear because here we have the flames from the combustion chamber and these flames try to make a erosion inside of the our valve spindle in the most cases the, mo the most of the wear you will have here in this length here it will be fine and also the kind of wear that you have is like that there is erosion inside metal missing if you are looking carefully you can see that one and as you can see our valve spindle passing the new and going to out and that is offset and we are going to replace them so we are located here in this image here our valve guide going four valve guides also a clean really really good this place here so our springs will be seated properly and even as i tell you before you can see a lot of signs here number three number one and already here have one somebody put three so be careful what you put and where you put this is a prepared place for set up our cylinder head and as you can see there is a thin layer of molybdenum desulfide apply on the surfaces where our nuts our cylinder head will be stand for easy remove for the next time of the cylinder head all these surfaces must be really really carefully uh, prepared and also you must lapping this surface also also there is going a flame ring here on the top let's show it we have a flame ring here which is also consumable there is a measurement for this ring and if this ring exceeds uh, the wear it's better to replace them here we have our cooling uh, chamber of water going here here we have our scavenging air enter inside the exhaust port our studs which keep the cylinder head in place this is four and have specific tight uh, here there is a port of oil the supply of oil to the top of cylinder head and here we have uh, the arms for the rocker arm which passing from the camshaft going to cylinder head top so let's go back really really important is to be prepared also your uh, holes here to be clean on the back of the cylinder head because after where you put these uh, bolts it will be really really difficult to clean the cylinder head thread must be prepared from before to not have any any problem there is our metal gasket going here we have a o-ring which seals the water the cooling water here i will show you exactly this is the port from where the water enters and going around on the top of 
chamber it cools here around because in this space we have really really amount of thermal energy which must be cooling down to not increase the temperature of the engine more than 78 80 degrees and here we have a different view of our valve spindle it's really really bad condition you cannot use it reuse it again from different views Let's see here. And here, as I tell you before, you must make a better lapping. I just make this picture to show you that here it's not even touch this surface. Just to show you how it is a uneven surface. We can show it here. Okay. You will still have a seal here, but it's really, really small place for sealing. So after finished the overhauling, the engine was tested. This is the normal procedure for testing. And I will tell you a secret guys to remember a good a really really good thing that you must do always for all the machineries and remember and apply it if you like I, I will share this knowledge for you and you will decide if you use or not if you make overhauling for all the machineries, no matter what machinery it is, try to test. Let's say if you finish five o'clock on the evening, okay, it's better to leave your uh, machinery until tomorrow. Do not start it at night time because you will not be there to monitor your machinery, okay. It's better to start on the morning after your round because on the morning time we are going for round, we check all the machineries, we verify that everything is fine and after we start our normal daily work. So after about your round 9 o'clock you can go for the specified machinery, let's say diesel generator in our case and you can leave it to operate for 24 hours if your engine works fine or your machinery that means you can put it for standby this is a really really nice rule this is the rule of the real professional which likes his job and be sure he will be sure that whatever he will deliver for anyone next it will be fine thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos more explanations and more tips and more details will be shared in the future thank you again guys bye bye